Hello, I'm Mr. Maths. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do multiplication of two and three digit numbers by one digit. Um, we'll start off with a two digit number. So let's start off with 33 times 5. I'll put our columns in there. This is tens, this is units. Okay. Let's get this bit more on the screen there. Okay, so first off we start with our units column. 5 times 3, well that's 15. It's really important that you get to know all your times tables. It's really, really important actually. It's fundamental. Just to try and learn them all off by heart so that these then can be done a lot quicker. Okay, so now we move across to the tens column here and it's... 5 times 3, but remember it's 30. So what I like to do is I like to put the 0 in here, look. So, just because I know it's going to be a multiple of 10. So, 5 times 3 is 15. But, as we put it in here, we know it's 150 because it's a multiple of 10. It's 5 times 3 times 10, effectively. So this, this way is a bit more long-winded. There are other ways to do it. But I like to do it this way so it clearly shows that we're timesing this 5 by 30 instead of by 3. Okay, and then we just add this up. Okay, 0 and 5 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus nothing is 1. There you go, there's your answer, 165. Okay, let's do that again. With, with perhaps a bigger number here, okay, let's try Let's try it. 76 times 8. Ooh. Okay. So, see, this is why it's important to know our times tables. Whoops. Okay, so let's put our columns in. Okay. 8 times 6, or 6 times 8. 8 times 6 would be 48 okay 8 times 7 now remember what column are we doing here the tens column so it's going to be a multiple of 10 so there will be a zero involved so I like to put the zero there now 7 times 8 8 times 7 is 56 this is why it's really important to know your times tables I had to think myself so it's no Shame in not getting them immediately. It's 7 times 8 is 56. But remember, it's a multiple of 10. Because we're doing 8 times 70 or 70 times 8. Let's put our 56 there so it becomes 560. And then we add it up the same way. 8 plus 0 is 8. Let's put a little plus sign there so we know what we're doing. 4. And 6, well that's 10 isn't it? There's a number bond of 10 going on there. So we put a 0 here. Carry that across. So 5 plus this one we've carried across is 6. There we go, we've got our answer. Okay, let's try it with a 3 digit number now. Now this can take up a lot of space on our pad. In this method, but... It clearly highlights the importance of getting our columns nicely in in line. Okay, so let's do a three digit. Let's move it over here a little bit more. Let's do six hundred and fifty one. We'll keep it to a lower times table, so make it easier. Let's put our units, our tens, and our hundreds in there. Okay, and we're going to times it by. Let's say. Four. Now here we go, make it across. So once times four is four. So we've done our units column already. Five times four, but it's not five times four, it's fifty times four, so it's gonna be a multiple of ten, isn't it? So we put a zero underneath. But we then we answer it as five times four. Five times four is twenty. Or 4 times 5 is 20, 
but multiple multiplied by 10 is 200. So we put that in here. Now we move on to another column, which is the hundreds column. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be a multiple of 100. So we put the zeros in. 4 times 6, or 6 times 4. 12, 24, 48. Is that right? 2, 12, 20, 2, 12, it's 24. So I see, this is why it's really important to know your times tables. 4 times 6 is 24. But it's a multiple of hundreds. So here we go. Now what do we do? It's a, we put our add sign there because we're going to add these up. 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 0 is 0, obviously. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then we've got the 2 on the right. Look at that. Now let's do another three digit number. That, I mean, this can be done. We could do, this number could be as long as you want. It's just how much room you have down here. But I just stick to three digits. It's, that's as much as we're gonna need at the moment. Let's pick another three digit number here. Let's pick 658 multiplied, I'm going to choose a, a nasty one now, 9, Ooh. put that line, 8 times 9 or 9 times 8, so 9 times 8 is 72. It's 8 away from 80. 9 times 5. Now remember, let's put our columns. Remember, we're in our tens column here, so it's going to be a multiple of 10. So I put a 0 there, just to make sure. 9 times 5, or 9 times 50, but 9 times 5, 5 times 9 is 45. But it's going to be 450. Now we're moving on to a hundreds column. So we put two zeros here because it's going to be a multiple of a hundred. Nine times six or six times nine. It's going to be 54. But we're in a hundreds, aren't we? So we put a four here, five here, 5,400. Put a line across. So we put a plus here. Nearly run out of space here. 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 5 plus 7, 7 plus 5 is 13 plus 0 is 13. No, it's not, is it? It is 12, see? These easy mistakes are to make, easy mistakes. We'll carry our 1, whoops. 4 plus 4 is 8, 9. And then 5. And there's our answer. 5,922. Okay, so I hope that's wrapped up how to do multiplication of two-digit and three-digit numbers by one digit. And I'll catch you later.